Welcome to another episode of Traveling with Rochelle to explore other wonders of Madrid. Today, we are going to know more and experience some interesting facts about Plaza de Sibelas, Sibelas Palace, and the exciting rooftop terrace bar of Sibelas. The Plaza de Sibelis is a square with a neoclassical complex of marble sculptures with fountain that has become an iconic symbol for the city of Madrid. It sits at the intersection of the longest street of Madrid, Calle de Alcala, running from east to west, and two of the main boulevards of the city, Paseo de Recoletos to the north and Paseo del Prado to the south. Sibelis Fountain is one of the main symbols of the change that Madrid experienced in the 18th century under the principles of the illustration period brought to the capital by King Carlos III, who is known by his nickname, the best mayor of Madrid. In the 18th century, Madrid was the capital of a great empire, but it was far different from what your eyes can witness now. It was a place where horses' carriages get the city completely dirty and where the citizens clean their houses by throwing their waste through the window by yelling, Water goes! When King Carlos III arrived to Spain in 1759, he brought an intense urban reform of aesthetic, political, and cultural values. To give a spectacular beauty to Madrid, King Carlos III decided to spread the neoclassic style along the city, recovering the style of the ancient Greece and Rome. That is why he chose Sivella's Fountain and Neptuno Fountain to decorate the Prado Avenue. From small streets, churches, and palaces, it went to great avenues, cathedrals, museums, academies, and fountains. Going back to Sibelis Fountain, this city's one famous landmark has been standing in this photograph square since 1782. It shows Cybele, the great goddess of fertility and nature, holding a scepter and a key while being pulled by two lions on a chariot. Why lions and not horses? That is the question. There is actually an interesting story about it, which it's up to you to find out. But as they said, the pool of wild lions symbolize the power of nature or the goddess. It is said that this fountain was served as water provider to the local population during the Moorish settlement. But in the 19th century, it was moved to the center of the square where it is found today and adorned with other details. This dark colored cauldron like with flames serves as a tribute to the victims of the pandemic with a small plaque on which inscription reads, Vuestra llama nunca se apagará en nuestro corazón. Your flame will never be extinguished in our hearts. The fountain is traditionally the place where Real Madrid football club celebrates their team victories with the team captain placing a Real Madrid flag and scarf on the statue.
This historical monument is surrounded by four magnificent buildings. First, Buenaventura Palace, which currently houses the Spanish Army's headquarters. Second, Linares Palace, which accommodates the Casa de America Cultural Institution. Third is the Bank of Spain or Banco de España. And the most prominent one is the Sibelas Palace or Palacio de Sibelas. This famous building is formerly known as Palacio de Comunicaciones, Palace of Communications, and Palacio de Telecomunicaciones, Palace of Telecommunications until 2011, is a complex composed of two buildings with white facades. Formerly the city's main office and telegraph and telephone headquarters, it is now the seat of Madrid City Council serving as the city hall and the public cultural center, Centro Centro. Centro Centro is a public open space devoted to contemporary art which focuses in particular on artistic and curatorial practices. Located on the 6th floor of Sibelas Palace is the main reason of our visit today, the Sibelas Rooftop Terrace. It is a cocktail bar and restaurant that offers unbearable views of the Plaza de Sibelas, Calle de Alcala, Paseo de Recoletos, and Paseo del Prado as well as Madrid City Skyline. On the 6th floor, you will be greeted by a receptionist and you will be asked to pay 6 euros which will be deducted from your food and drinks bill. This bar offers sharing platters and desserts, a wide variety of cocktails and mocktails, a broad selection of wines, cavas, and champagnes, as well as coffees and other beverages. If you plan to come for a nice meal, it is better to reserve ahead of time, especially at weekends, but minimum consumption of 25 euros eats is mandatory. If you come here for a drink and just to enjoy the view like us, reservation is not required. It is almost always packed, but during this time of the pandemic, you are most likely to find a nice spot. However, it is more advisable to come on weekdays to avoid the crowd. It is open daily from 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. to 2 a.m. But the view at night is more spectacular, especially if you are sunset bookers. Visiting this place is a privilege and a great experience for me and my friends to contemplate the beauty of the center of Madrid. It is the perfect spot to capture the Sibelis Fountain, especially when it is illuminated. Aside from the great views and lovely ambience, we receive great service. I would say that it is a place to visit from time to time. As we weren't able to afford the price of the food offered at the rooftop bar, we decided to go to Plaza Mayor and had our delicious bite of Bocadillo de Calamares. Después de estar en la terraza, que estamos aquí en Plaza Mayor para comer bocadillos. La cena. La cena. La cena muy rica de calamares, papá. Uh -huh. Agua. Pues, es que aquí es más económico, ¿no? Qué trucazo, ¿no? Estuvimos en Plaza de Becebeles para ver la vista. It was such an enjoyable time. See you again next week for more Wonders of Madrid.